What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katia, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 super useful expressions. I love learning fixed phrases and expressions because they help us stop translating in our head and be more fluent. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off. So, the first expression we're going to learn today is get a life. Get a life. You can say this expression to a boring person when you want them to do more exciting things. An example sentence Don't tell me you'd prefer to stay at home and clean rather than go on an outing. Come on, get a life. Don't tell me you'd prefer to stay at home and clean rather than go on an outing. Come on, get a life. And you can also say this expression to people who like gossiping and nosing around. For example, stop criticizing me and get a life. Stop criticizing me and get a life. And one more example, my colleagues should get a life. They are always gossiping. My colleagues should get a life. They are always gossiping. And now let's move on to our second expression, which is no rush. No rush. It means that you don't need to hurry. And now three examples. The first one, sorry, I'll be a bit late. I've just missed the bus. No rush. Sorry, I'll be a bit late. I've just missed the bus. No rush. Another example, no rush, we've got plenty of time. No rush, we've got plenty of time. And the last example here, I'll be there as soon as I can. No rush, take your time. I'll be there as soon as I can. No rush, take your time. Let's continue our expression number three is to say. To say, it's a French word which is used to admit that the other person has won a point in an argument or discussion. And now, a few examples. The first one, you always say that we should support small shops, but you always go to a shopping mall. Touché. You always say that we should support small shops, but you always go to a shopping mall. Touché, which means, okay, you're right. The second example, you always tell me that I should get in shape, but you never do sport. Touché. You always tell me that I should get in shape, but you never do sport. Touché. And the last example, you always say that you'd like to get to know Spain better, but you always go abroad on holiday. Touché. You always say that you'd like to get to know Spain better, but you always go abroad on holiday. Touché. Let's move on to our expression number four, which is how come. How come. We use it to ask how or why something has happened. And now, Three examples. The first one, I'm not going to Dublin next month. How come? My flight was cancelled. I'm not going to Dublin next month. How come? My flight was cancelled. Another example, Kim's moving to London next month. How come? She's got a new job there. Kim's moving to London next month. How come? She's got a new job there. And one more example, Sarah broke up with her boyfriend. How come? He cheated on her. Sarah broke up with her boyfriend. How come? He cheated on her. Let's continue our expression number five is good value for money. Good value for money. If something is good value for money, it means that it's worth the money we spent on it. And now, some examples. The first one, the hotel was good value for money. 
the hotel was good value for money. The second example, you should go to this Japanese restaurant. It's good value for money. You should go to this Japanese restaurant. It's good value for money. And the last example, I'm happy with my new smartphone. It's good value for money. I'm happy with my new smartphone. It's good value for money. And guys, before we continue, please make sure you're subscribed to English Vids. There is a weekly lesson on different aspects of English learning. And now let's move on to our expression number six, which is if I had my way. If I had my way. This expression is used to say what you would do if you could. And now three examples. The first one, if I had my way, I'd go to New York in September. If I had my way, I'd go to New York in September. It means if I could, I'd go to New York in September. Another example, if I had my way, I'd eat sushi every day. If I had my way, I'd eat sushi every day. And one more example, if I had my way, I'd spend a year traveling around the world. If I had my way, I'd spend a year traveling around the world. Let's continue our expression number seven is the joke is on somebody. The joke is on somebody. It means that somebody has tried to make another person look silly or feel embarrassed, but ended up making herself or himself look silly instead. And now three examples. The first one, he tried to kick the ball at her, but the joke was on him when he tripped over and broke his ankle. He tried to kick the ball at her, but the joke was on him when he tripped over and broke his ankle. The second example, Tim wanted to play a trick on his brother, but the joke was on him when his sibling got back at him. Tim wanted to play a trick on his brother, but the joke was on him when his sibling got back at him. And for the third example, I recommend listening to the song I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift. And in this song, she sings, I realize the joke is on me. Let's continue our expression number eight is that's news to me. That's news to me. We use this expression to say that we didn't know about something. And now a few examples. The first one, Mary is moving abroad. Really? That's news to me. Mary is moving abroad. Really? That's news to me. The second example, you're saying that Peter is not coming to the wedding. That's news to me. You're saying that Peter is not coming to the wedding. That's news to me. And one more example. I didn't know that she was made redundant. That's news to me. I didn't know that she was made redundant. That's news to me. And now we're going to look at two super positive expressions that I like a lot. Number nine, to take each day as it comes or to take it one day at a time. To take each day as it comes or to take it one day at a time. It means to deal with something as it happens and not make plans or worry about the future. And now some examples. The first one, thanks to the quarantine, a lot of people learned to take each day as it comes. Thanks to the quarantine, a lot of people learned to take each day as it comes. Another example, I want to learn to take each day as it comes. I want to learn to take each day as it comes. And the last example, you'd better live in the present and take it one day at a time. You'd better live in the present and take it one day at a time. 
And last but not least, look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. This super positive and motivating expression means that you can always find good things in a bad situation. And now, three examples. The first one, my flight to Dublin was cancelled, but looking on the bright side, I will save some money by not going. My flight to Dublin was cancelled, but looking on the bright side, I will save some money by not going. The second example, you should look on the bright side. Losing a dead-end job will give you a chance to find a better one. You should look on the bright side. Losing a dead-end job will give you a chance to find a better one. And the last example, I couldn't go hiking because of rain, but on the bright side, I had a relaxing day, chilling out and watching Netflix. I couldn't go hiking because of rain, but on the bright side, I had a relaxing day, chilling out and watching Netflix. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English vid and learned something new. If you want to learn more useful expressions, check out my previous lessons right here. And of course, if you liked this English vid, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and do my daily quiz on Instagram. With that being said, Thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!